Live from Amsterdam, I am Pep Rosenfeld from the Boom Chicago Theater, and welcome to Vire Presents, the live stream launch of the new Vire model. How's everybody doing? Right, right, this is a, uh, this is a live stream launch. I, I can't hear a word you say. This is gonna take some getting used to for all of us, but um, I know you're there, and that is good enough for me. And look, maybe you can tell already I'm not from Vire, and I'm not a member of the yacht community. Uh, it'd be fair to say that I personally am not in the market for a yacht like most of you. But I like to think we're not that different. We, we put on our pants one leg at a time. Of course, my pants are blue jeans and yours are, I don't know, made of gold and pulled on by a British butler wearing a tuxedo. I don't know. Either way, close enough, I'm sure we're going to get along great. Now, the truth is I'm from uh, the Boom Chicago Comedy Theater uh, here in Amsterdam, and I will be with you for the next half hour or so. And before we start, before I bring out the fellas from Vire, let's deal with the mask-wearing elephant in the room. I mean, um, look, I, I know you folks are used to the, the classic, you know, over-the-top Vire experiences, you know, from the traditional start of season here in the Netherlands to the owner's challenges in Saint-Tropez and Ibiza. Well, today's amazing destination is your own laptop. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's different. I got it. And even after a year, even after a whole year of virtual meetings on Zoom and Teams and ugh, even Cisco WebEx, it still doesn't feel like a normal get together, does it? I mean, if I'm honest, this feels more like a, a dystopian science fiction movie, you know? you know? You know the kind I mean where the trailer sounds like this? In a world where a dangerous virus has forced everyone to lock themselves in their homes, where all human contact has been banned and hugs and handshakes have been replaced by that thing where you get ready to touch elbows, but then don't. Vire presents the live stream launch of the new Vire model, the virtual edition. So, so it's different, right? It's, it's different, but we're gonna make it work. And if I'm honest, there are upsides to doing this live stream. First of all, more people can attend when it's a live stream launch. In fact, a special hello to those of you that might not have made it all the way out here, uh, but are joining us today because it's a live stream. And also, remember those fancy gold pants I mentioned earlier? Because you're all by yourself at home, you don't have to wear any pants at all. So there are pluses. To make sure that this launch starts off just right, Alongside me today is the owner and managing director of Vire, Dries Vire. So please give an absolutely silent welcome to Dries Vire. I'm going to clap. I'm going to clap for you, Dries. I'm going to clap. Thanks. You deserve it. Well, look, uh, you know, today's, uh, well, let me ask you this. What are you most looking forward to today? No, I'm very excited to launch a new project that we have been working on for years. I'll tell you what, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the, 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 the product of your years of work. I also got to say, I love the theme you know, the world is not enough. Like when I first heard that, I got to admit, I didn't understand. I thought like, oh, I get it. The world is not enough. You know, there's so many Vire yachts out there and more being built literally as we speak. I assumed we were running out of water for them. The world was not enough. I thought today was like a, a fundraiser to help Elon Musk, you know, find water on Mars or something, not for human survival, but for more yachting. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy now I, I understand the whole thing. Um, anyway, look, I feel, like, I feel like it was just you and me that wouldn't be uh, enough people on stage. I feel like we'd be making a mistake to uh, not include the man who's really responsible or the man behind the whole process of building this new model. So please folks, welcome the Director of Operations, Ronald Van Hulst. And I'm clapping, I'm clapping. Come on, Dries, join me, somebody's gonna clap. You guys clap at home. It feels weird, but it's worth it. Um, gentlemen, we are all excited about this. You, you guys must be more excited than anybody, but uh, I think a lot of us are wondering like, you know, why the new model? Were you guys together and like, ooh, you know what? I don't think our current range cuts it anymore. No, certainly not, uh, <laughs> no. No, it's basically, it came up in two different ways because yeah. we have existing clients and they want to grow with the brand, of course. So we have different models, 38s, 55s. And they ask me, Dries, listen, what is going to be your next step? So that's one reason. Uh, the other reason is, of course, that we want to, you know, spread out and uh, build up a fleet of different models to attract new potential clients. So got it, got it. And uh, it's, or is it, you know, plus you get a little bigger, you need a bigger boat. True. I understand. <laughs> um, and how, the, how does the process work? How does, how does it go from like, I've got an idea, we need a new model to today's launch? 
How does that happen? Now, it's a whole process of, of several years, of course, and we work together with Chino Naval Architecture on the process. So um, it starts with the design of the boat, and uh, then we start involving engineers, of course, from the shipyard, and uh, we form a build team, we build a business case. So it's a whole process. And, 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 and is there a little bit of a story behind, behind how it all was put together? Maybe yeah, it's better yeah, if yeah. Ronald tells you that, how that normally goes with our company. <coughs> all right, let's, let's, let's hear how it works, Ronald. He's uh, explaining how the official process works, but how it actually <laughs> really happened is that ah, let's, let's hear how the sausage <laughs> really yeah, 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 yeah. So he came up, Ronald, I have an idea. Just conceptually, we will look into a new design together with Sino, yeah, just yeah. as a concept, uh, nothing else. A few months later, he came back, Ronald, I have a problem. I sold one. Uh. Don't tell my dad. <laughs> That's how it actually happens, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slightly different. Yeah, we uh, we have a motto at my company, which is "Sell first, solve later," and it sounds like you have the same yeah, motto. It's a very typical for real salesmen. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and you know who hates that? The folks that have to build the ships. So well, I'm sure yours loved it. I'm sure yours loved it. Um, but of course, it has to, you know, it has to actually become a real vire, right? Like, uh, w can you tell us a bit about the principles that the boat has to, you know, achieve in order to be a a, a, a true vire? Of course, first of all, the DNA is uh, flare bow uh, and, uh, and a tumble home. But next to that, we wanted to have uh, a slightly different concept saying uh, that it's not a typical day boat anymore. So for a uh, mid, uh, midweek cruise as well. Headroom height is quite important. It has to be a sportive, uh, sexy looking boat and clean looks. Clean looks, that's uh, very key for our designs. It's all about design. So the design is the starting point for us. So we want to make something nice and then fulfill the actual requirements that a boat has, which is a typical DNA point from our brand. Right, so let me, let me make sure I understand it. It's, it's, it's sell first, design second, make it an actual boat third. Exactly. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that's grueling. Well, fellas, we've heard the why, and we even heard the pretty funny and slightly terrifying anecdote how. I think there's nothing left to do but see the new model, and I know we're all super excited. I mean, I don't know why I'm excited. I'm, I'm clearly never going to get one of these, but you might. So, without any further ado, Dries. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to launch my new model. Wow, I mean that, that, I think we're all blown away by what we just saw. 
Now, we all know I'm not, you know, an expert here. So for me, it was like, wow, what a beautiful yacht that appears to be going very fast. But, but Dries, you're, 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 you're the expert. Why don't, you t- why don't you tell us some of the highlights of what we just saw? Now, it's obviously a 77-footer. Yeah. But we have many more things to tell. So um, the boat is very innovative. Um, so it has lots of different new materials in it, which uh, we are very excited about. But let me tell you something a little bit more about the cabin layout, because it sleeps nine people. So uh, two crew, uh, but also seven people in different rooms. So we have a master suite, we have a junior suite in the front, but also a small guest cabin. That sounds almost like a a, a multi-day layout. Absolutely. Wow. uh, And and, and I said that that it looked like it was going pretty fast, but uh, but what is the speed? How how fast can it go? It's doing 37 knots. And uh, you know how much a knot is or not? Yeah, absolutely. And that is, uh, if you can tie one right, then you can be in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> no, it's 1.86 kilometers an hour. So 37 of those is, uh, yeah. yes, it's pretty... Over 70 kilometers an hour. Over 70 kilometers an hour. It's quite a clip. Um, you mentioned some innovations. I wonder if you can tell us about some of your favorite ones. Yeah, one of my favorite ones is the hybrid fender system. So it's basically very simple. So you, ba- you click in uh, a fender and it blows it up automatically. And also deflating, of course, automatically. What a hybrid system. Yeah, it's very simple, but it's very practical. I like it. I like it. What else? What else is in that? Uh... Now, you, you know, we are talking a lot with our owners. And one of the things they really hate is working with tents and covering and uncovering boats. So we learned from that. So we invented a nice sliding roof, which goes all the way backwards, which opens the entire cockpit. And one of the other things I like about the sliding roof is that you can lift the top to get air under the roof. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. And, and uh, what else? I heard you guys talking about the, 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 the deck layout. Yeah, so it has a very flexible deck layout, yeah. which basically means you can move the furniture over the deck, which is very nice as well, depending on you know, the company you are. <laughs> um, but you know, some of the things that I really like is the uh, deck cooling system that we invented. Yeah. Because everybody knows who is a bit of a yachty, that when you walk on your boat, when it has been lying in the sun for hours, you burn your feet. So why not getting, you know, just liquid under the deck and cool it down? All right, first of all, that makes total sense and is awesome, and it sounds like Batman's boat. Second of all, you guys really call yourselves yachties? Yeah, sometimes. Do, 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 do you ever play Yahtzee? I think it'd be pretty good if the yachties <laughs> were playing Yahtzee. I think that'd be fantastic. Uh, what about uh, enthusiasm for the new, uh, for the new yacht? I, I, people are already talking about it? No, absolutely. So uh, what we did, we contacted a few of our existing owners already, and uh, we are very excited because we've sold already 15 in pre-order. Well, that is exciting. I I happen to know that we have on the phone right now, and by phone I mean video call, a connection with one of the lucky ones who already ordered a 77, and he happens to be a pretty famous one. So please welcome on our video screen, Tom Brady. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. It's a real pleasure to have you here. Before we start the questions, I want to sort of do a little quick introduction for any of the, uh, the, 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 the fools who might not uh, be football fans. For Americans, of course, you know, this man needs no introduction. Tom Brady, world championship quarterback, led teams to seven Super Bowl victories. In five of those games, he was named most valuable player. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what he did wrong in the, other, in the other two. Maybe watch the tape, Tom. Um, for the, uh, for the non-Americans, I'm going to try and put it in your terms. I think of Dutch footballer Johan Krauf. Uh, Tom Brady is like Johan Krauf if Krauf's national team had actually won the World Cup in 74, then won it again in 78, and then went on to win it five more times, then Krauf would be approaching Tom Brady's status. Uh, Tom, once again, a, a pleasure to have you here. And I think you already know me, guys. Dries. I think you already know Dries. Absolutely. I've gotten, to know, um, I've gotten to know Dries pretty well over the years and, um, you know, just love what he's doing with this incredible brand. And I'm glad to be a part of this show. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I've got a couple of questions. I'm just going to jump right in. And, uh, and, uh, and, and Dries, if you want, if you, if you, if you just leave us alone, I'm having I a leave moment. It to you. I'm having a moment. I leave to you. I'm having a moment. Yeah. We're having a moment. Um, so have you always been a, 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 a yachty? I just learned that people who like yachts are called yachties. Have you always been a yachty? Have you always been a, a man of the water? I just learned that also, I guess. I've, uh, <laughs> I was in New England for a lot of years, which is kind of a boating community. 
But moving down to Tampa Bay last year, I lived right here on this beautiful, uh, this beautiful bay, um, Old Hills, Old Hillsboro Bay. And um, the first thing I did when I got here was said, I need a boat. I got to be able to get out on this beautiful water. And I was able to do it. And uh, Dries and I, I actually, uh, while he was building this uh, 55, um, this 55, beautiful 55 foot boat that's sitting outside, he, I used a 38 foot, but also, and, uh, you know, it's really been a great experience for me the last 13 months. I'm looking forward to continuing my, um, captainship over the course of my life. Cause I really enjoy being on the water. That's awesome. I don't know if it's a captain or a skipper. I, I don't, I don't know any of that stuff. I think we've got some insight into, into what actually brought you, brought you to Tampa Bay. Um, you you had some kind words to say about the brand and, you know, Dries, when did you first get connected to, to, to the Vire brand? About two weeks um, after I got down here, I was said, you know, I moved pretty quickly and then, you know, just realized I was going to be on the water for a long time. And I'm planning on being on being in Florida for, um, you know, for for a long time. I don't see us moving out of here for quite a while. So if ever, but just to have the opportunity to be on the water and, and um, you know, I have young kids and it's a great activity for us as our family. You know, we spent Christmas on our boat. We spent New Year's on our boat. Um, now it's just getting into boating season out here in Florida. So, so I'm really, really out there. Kids love it. Uh, my family loves it. We've just had some really great moments in the last 13 months since being down here. That, that, that sounds fantastic. Well, look, you, you, you've, you've already got a 55, but I know you've pre-ordered a 77. And I, I just wondered what, you know, it's, it's not even in the water yet. What is it that's so attractive to you about this about this new model? Well, everything. I mean, the 55 is an amazing boat. And I, like I said, it's an amazing, uh, it's been an amazing boat for our family. Um, I think the 77 will be a little bit more suited for what we need it for down here, which is a, a few more day trips and weekend trips. We spent a lot of time um, in the Bahamas. So going from, I would say, the east coast of Florida across into the Bahamas and around the Bahamas would be really great uh, trips for us as a family. It's got three bedrooms. Teresa has showed me quite a few videos over the last few months. So I'm really excited. Uh, I think by the end of next year, we should receive it. I'm holding Dries to his word. And uh, I know he is, he's, he's come through for me before. I know he'll come through for me again. Well, he hasn't paid my invoice yet, so we'll see. Um, look, uh, I know that the, uh, the Vire, your, your, your 55S is, is already, it's called the Viva Avida. And I wonder if you've already picked out yep. a name for the 77. I think we're going to stick with it. Um, you know, it's, it means in Portuguese celebration of life. My wife is Brazilian and, um, you know, she's very much into, you know, the, having the right names and I, it was a great name. And, uh, I think we're going to stick with that one. So it's, it's been great to us. Um, you know, it's a beautiful boat and I uh, look forward to adding one that's just a little bit bigger uh, to our house. I get it. I get it. Uh, well, uh, last question. Last question. Then we'll let you get back to, you know, writing plays. That's what I assume. Training. You call it. Yeah, you just Training. write plays and train. Um, what, what's your ideal destination uh, for a trip with the, with the 77? Wow, there's a lot. You know, there's a lot of places to go here. Obviously, the U.S. is you know, you can go up and down the East Coast of, of the U.S. and basically being over here. But I'd say probably from Florida, the East Coast of Florida to the Bahamas and around the Bahamas would, is pretty, pretty much ideal. There's so much to see here. Um, some great reefs. Our family loves to do some diving. A lot of snorkeling the kids do. Um, you know, the fact that, again, with a little bit bigger boat for us, the 77 allows us to, you know, sleep overnight really comfortably and uh you know, those weekend trips would be really something that would be great memories for our families for the years to come. I just want to say, first of all, that's a great, a great destination. It's not a little bigger. It's like 50 percent bigger. I mean, I'm looking at two models and that that's a big, big one. And that's not. Um, well, look, I, the, I want to. Oh, I just, the 55 I just is pretty big, too. So it's it's definitely yeah, I mean, the 55 a is pretty big the, the 77. Too, I, mean, I know. Yeah. Well, well look, I got to get zoomed your, in on that model right there. You 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 you, you want to get zoomed? You want to get zoomed in? I mean, I mean, obviously you're in the in the shot. You dwarf over both of them. You're like the god of yachts right now. Look, I'm going to let you get back to what I assume is your spring, which is a mix of training, yachting, and an ongoing debate with your wife about whether you're going to retire after next season. So, uh, so I'll, I'll let you get to it. And thanks again. <laughs>
Thank you. I appreciate it. Great talking to you guys. Well, well, well. Big thanks to Tom Brady for joining us today and for telling us a little bit about his plans for his new 77. I got to admit, I'm curious about why, uh, you know, the reasons why so many people are already jumping at the 77 to buy it. And, uh, and I want to bring back Ronald to help me understand some of the reasons why. Ronald, I'm going I'm to clap for you. you guys clap right at home. I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, Ronald, so, so f- folks are excited about this boat and I just, uh, uh, about this yacht. And I want to know, I want to know why. And I, I think some of the reasons are those innovations we've heard about. And I just want to ask you, what are your three top, what is that? All right, we'll hear about that in a minute. But you got something weird in your hand. Don't think I didn't notice. Um, I want to hear about the top three innovations on the 77 in your, in your eyes. Okay, it's a bit of a pity, Pat. Only three. Okay, I will start <laughs> with three then. Okay, first of all, the versatility of the deck. Second, uh, the deck cooling. And third, all measures which are taken to, get, to end up with a very, very quiet boat. All righty. Um, can, we, can we talk about deck versatility first? Because does that mean like the deck can also be the keel if it wants to? Like what, what, is, what does that mean? Almost, almost, no. Well, first of all, we have on deck, we have of course this main deck uh, city yeah. where we have the sofas which can be moved to the, to the center of the boat as well. So then you end up with a U-shaped sofa instead of the L-shaped when they are outboard. And what is very uh, unique is that even the tabletops are rotating automatically as well to the inside position. So no hassle to fold down tables or whatsoever. It's just a fully automatic system, which is our own design. So that's the versatility on the deck looking at the main cockpit. Next to that, we have the wet bar. The wet bar is uh, very complex. So you have a TV lift in the middle, which goes up and down, quite obvious. But on the other hand, there's a bar which can lift up, uh, up and down as well. Yeah. The bar stools are folding out automatically, fully automatically. And on the other side, you have uh, a grill, you have ice makers, you have quite some storage. So I would say you always, almost can fly to the moon with that one and say hello to Elon Musk. That, like that. that sounds amazing. That's, I said it was a Batman boat. It's more yeah. like a transformer boat. <laughs> Wet bar. Um, you, you mentioned the, the deck cooling. Dries was talking about the deck cooling earlier. How's that work? I, I, I never have to burn my feet again if I'm you know, invited on, on, on board the ship, on board the yacht. Exactly. We have two types of cooling. So one uh, is the liquid, uh, as Ries uh, mentioned earlier on, it's, it's below the, the synthetic teak. And the other system is with a nozzle system, and it's specifically designed for us. It's an Austrian brand. And even the beam, so the way the, the water mist, it's not a sprinkler system, it's more like a water mist. And the way it's sprinkled on deck is, is a beam, a specific beam, uh, specifically designed for us. Wow. So that's very unique. And you have several sections on the deck. So you have the fore deck, you have the cockpit, you have the aft deck. So you're very versatile. There you have the word again as well. Ronald, you said that one of your favorite innovations was how uh, quiet the yacht is. How do you do it? How do you make it so quiet? And does it have something to do with the weird thing you've been holding since you came on stage? Absolutely. Absolutely. I will get to this uh, later on. But first of all, we want to keep the noise where it's produced in the engine room. So heavy duty uh, insulation over there, mass layers over there, sound deadening over there, and a lot of soft mounts. So that's it for the engine room. And when we get to the interior, the best thing to explain is looking at this small uh, mock-up. So basically uh, we have uh, the interior in total is a box and uh, it's floating in the box, which is called the construction, the hull itself. So that's the box in box principle. And looking at all the details within the interior box, this is the, the explaining bit, so that we have this, uh, this cell material, this cell rubber, which is making sure that the, the, the flooring itself is floating. We have a mass layer in the floor as well, which is there for sound deadening. And then we have a mass layer in the wall construction as well, uh, even for sound deadening, and a huge air gap, which is filled up with a high-tech uh, insulation material and dampers on the on the ceiling so that's the total floating box within the construction so there's a box in box and it's floating inside a yacht that's floating exactly this is so meta it's blowing my mind um well it sounds like it's gonna be pretty quiet for the yachties see i've learned the word yachties it's gonna be pretty quiet for the yachties well we have heard a, a ton of information we've seen a lot we've learned a lot and i'm sure our viewers i'm sure you guys have a lot of questions and the great news is we asked you to send some in through various channels and now I'd like to invite Dries back on stage to help uh, Ronald answer some of those questions. I will applaud. You do so at home as we welcome Dries back on stage. Welcome back. And uh, we, I'm, we're going to dive right into the questions. I want to emphasize they have not seen these questions yet. This is the first time they're going to be answering them. 
I have not seen the question. I mean, I have. I was supposed to look. I didn't. It's, it was just irresponsible. There's no other way to put it. So if I stumble over some fancy nautical terms, that's why. Here's our first question. It comes to us emailed in from Peter Lemons. He writes, does the Vire CC have an automatic anchor system on board? Greets, because he must love you guys. <laughs> now, thanks, Peter, for sending us this uh, question. So let me explain you, because um, the 77 has a very similar anchor system, the actual anchor system, as the 55. So it's a swing over arm, uh, which deploys the anchor. But it has another nice little feature, which allows you to just press a button and the boat calculates himself how much anchor chain it has to throw out, because that's always the tricky thing. Every time I, I say it's like Batman's boat, it turns out it is like Batman's boat. Um, well, thanks again, Peter. And let us go to the next question. This one comes from Thorsten Truls. Thorsten Truls, who uh, emails in, is it possible to have a meal inside, for example, during bad weather, and for how many people? No greetings. Ronald, maybe this is a nice question for you. Of course you can have a meal inside because of indu induction cooking inside as well. And uh, it's depending on how good your chef will be for the, uh, the amount of people. Looking, it, looking at uh, the stuff which we have on board, it's uh, at least 12. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty exciting. And worst comes to worst, you can always you know, have, a, have a bag of chips. No, uh, thank you very much. Uh, there's, and we go to the next question from uh, Nick van Fleet. Nick van Fleet asks, I think there's a question on everybody's mind. Can we still water ski behind this big lady? Can we? Yeah, absolutely. So Nick has to be a big water ski fan, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's possible. Uh, but I would rather take, you know, these nice little wakeboards they have. Or, you know, you can yeah. basically surf on the wake of the boat itself, which is really great, without rope. And uh, alternatively, you can take out a tender and uh, give the Williams a blast. Well, I mean, if, so if you're a yachty that likes to ski, uh, you can do it, but it's going to be a big weight. That's the warning. Hey, I've got a question. This wasn't sent in, but, you know, I asked Tom Brady before about his, uh, his, his, his like, dream destination with the 77. Where would you go on your first day trip with the 77? Now, of course, it will be a multiple day trip. That's bad, for sure. Bad. That's for sure. No, I would take the boat out to Corsica, Sardinia, make a nice trip around the island uh, with several friends, of course. So uh, I made the trip last year with the 55. It was truly fantastic to the north of Sardinia, Caladivo, Porto Cervo. Great to go. That, so, uh, that sounds fantastic. Well, just, just send me a text a week beforehand so I, you know, I, I, I pack and I'm ready to go. Um, fellas, uh, b b before we end this thing, you know, we, we, we heard... From, from Ronald earlier about uh, bridge quietness, you know, we, in the 77. And, you know, with that fact and, and with the commitment to keeping it quiet and with the fact that it's, it's the most silent yacht in its class, uh, Vire has created a special contest with an even more special partner. Now, that partner is a man who knows a little something about sound. I'm talking about the Dutch DJ who was named best DJ in the world five times. Still too shy of, you know, Tom Brady's uh, championships, but still five is impressive. Um, of course, uh, I'm talking about Armin van Buren. So, uh, Armin, why don't you, in a video form, tell us a little bit about this amazing uh, contest. Hi everyone, I'm Armin van Buren, and I'm giving you the chance to remix my track with Giuseppe Ottaviani, Magico. I will personally select the winner and the grand prize of this Armada University contest is to win an all-in trip to the south of France to spend a full day on a wire yacht. Really amazing boat. So I can't wait to hear your remixes. Give it your best shot. Good luck. Oh yeah, man. Roland, you, you spin a little bit. Have you entered the contest yet? Not yet. Uh, you should. You should do it right on board the 77, you know, versatile deck, get your DJ kit in there. You know, the kids are dancing. No, because they, they can dance without worrying about burning their feet with the cooling deck system. This is awesome. No, I think it's be he's better in building boats, Pat, that's for sure. Well, or spinning on my bike. <laughs> I, think, I think he can do both. But look, look, gentlemen, we're, we're just about done here. Dries, any final word for the viewers? No, absolutely. Look behind me because it's, it's big, Pat. It's a, it's a doozy. huge boat compared to that 55, which is standing next to it. All right, so, so, so look, folks, that's it. This launch is officially a wrap. Um, after all we've seen and all we've heard and looking at the models, I think we can all agree with Police Chief Brody from the movie Jaws when he said so wisely, you're going to need a bigger boat. I'm Pep Rosenfeld, encouraging you to enjoy the water without a worry. 
See you on board, you yachties. <laughs>